Now, from the station that's taking action for you, this is ABC Action News. Good evening, and thank you for joining us. I'm Brendan McLaughlin, in for Jameson. And I'm Lynn Todd. The men and women of Tampa Fire Station 15 spend their lives rescuing people in danger. But now the firefighters need to be rescued from an itchy infestation. Our Don Gramaze is live at the station house that has been infested with bed bugs. Yuck, Don. Oh, you're not kidding, Lynn. They were behind Station 15, which is at the intersection of Himes and Gandy, so we can show you what they've had to do. Normally, the crew quarters are on this side of the building right here, and on this side of the building, that's the kitchen and the rec room. Well, everybody's had to move their sleeping quarters from the crew quarters over there. Pretty cramped in the middle of the kitchen and the TV room, but that's what they had to do. Another thing I've noticed today, check a look over here. All day long, they have been throwing away bedding. There has been a bug man here for, the, uh, for about eight hours that I've known about, all because of, as you said, bed bugs. The paramedics and firefighters of Tampa Station 15 spent most of the morning running the fires and medical calls. Which is probably fine by them because their firehouse has been invaded by bed bugs. These are the nymphs, and this is the adult. This is what they look like in an enlarged photo. Sometime in mid-September, the unwanted roommates found their way into the sleeping quarters of the firehouse. Now, firefighters are throwing out uniforms and bedding. A bed bug expert is spraying the crew quarters with eco-exempt oil trying to kill the critters. The fire rescue department and taxpayers have already spent thousands of dollars trying to get rid of the bugs. The folks at Massey Pest Control say they've gotten rid of most, but not all of them. We've done a heat treatment, we've done and some follow-up treatments, and it just looks like we're maybe one popping up sporadically at this point. So they keep spraying and planning a new angle of attack, and the cost is growing. We're probably going to uh, remove some carpeting, and uh, uh, we are evaluating uh, replacing some bedding, and some of that is going to be very appropriate to do so, so we don't have an issue with doing that. It's the right thing to do. They hope they won't have to replace the bunker gear, which would be even more costly. All right, a couple of obvious questions. Has anyone been injured so badly they have to miss a day of work? No, not that we know of. In fact, they couldn't name anybody who's actually been bitten yet. Other problems, uh, these guys are paramedics. When they go to medical calls, are they bringing the bugs with them? We are told there is no indication that that is happening. All the other question, are they bringing it home to their families? They're actually handing out pamphlets to the firefighters and paramedics so they can read up on how to stay safe, keep clean, and keep the bed bugs here until they can get rid of them. Live in South Tampa, Don Gourmet's ABC Action News. All right.